last night, last night, I put myself through what I think can be legally classified as torture. I swear, the more time I spend with Melanie, the more time I realize she's just begging for pain. <laughs> Me and the girls, the Melissa, Melanie, and Michaela, my, my lovely cousins, uh, we were on the phone talking about stuff. We were talking about a movie that I'd watched. An actually good movie, in my opinion, that I watched. And we were talking about it and talking about like the meaning of it, the moral of it, and yada, yada, yada. We were talking about that, and um, at some point it was just casual conversation. We kind of trailed off from that movie, and uh, Melanie asked me if I had seen another certain movie, and I was like, what, no, huh? And she told me to look up the trailer a bit and watch it. I watched it, and I can already tell upon watching it, it's just, no. <sighs> it's no. The trailer isn't even put together well. It's not even put together in a way that tells you anything about the movie it is after it was done i said what is it about and their father in the background says you just watched the trailer and i'm just sitting there like yeah i still don't know what it's about it, uh, that means something <laughs> to me that means something that's a tell right there even the synopsis the synopsis was like nothing they said it was i think it, i believe it was one sentence basically just, just saying the main character's name yeah, which his name is guy it's not mm, the name guy isn't necessarily bad but i feel like in this context using the guy i don't know this movie <laughs> this this is supposed to be a christian movie it's supposed to be a christian film um i recognized a couple people quite a few people actually from that movie who i don't believe any of those actors are actually Christians. I mean, that's not for me to say, but based on other things I've seen them in, I do. Uh, I assume. <laughs> I just know a couple of the actors from other things, and um, one of the p actors in particular I know still isn't that great of an actress in the other thing I've seen her in. So, Melanie <laughs> has this fantastic idea that we should watch the movie. She apparently has seen it before, and she wants her sisters and me to experience it and rip it to pieces afterwards. Yeah, that, that's what we do. We like to watch bad movies and then just <laughs> explain to each other why we already know. It's terrible. And we all uh, do a little bit of film stuff and storytelling stuff on our own. So we like to learn what not to do. <laughs> And boy, did we learn. <laughs> so, we decide to, um, upon further discussion about it, we decide to separate, so like hang up on the phone, hang up, individually watch the movie that night. We were basically watching it at the same time. I believe I was like maybe 20 or 30 minutes ahead of them. But we watched the movie last night. And every second of that movie was... As the movie went on, I could just feel the gun slowly rising to my head. I, I, I don't even know how it's possible. I, I don't know how it's possible. I don't know how it's possible the movie was made. I don't know how it's possible it ever came out. It was so bad. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll give a little explanation of the movie. The movie opens with, the, with this guy. Guy. His name is Guy. And, um... He is a pastor. He's a youth pastor. He goes, apparently, he goes around the country to each state, and he does something. It never even really said what he does. It didn't elaborate, but apparently he talks. Maybe he does, like, a TED Talk. But he talks, basically preaches, I guess, to youths, and um, it shows scenes. It's clearly not going well, but it shows scenes. It's, like, kind of just a progression of how it's, it's he's just losing it. Um, he becomes, uh, the, um, uh, the, what they call the beach ball guy, he becomes a beach ball guy. Because one time on stage, someone threw a beach ball to him and he signed it. Because that's what you would do. And he threw it back, and then after that, everyone brought him beach balls for him to sign. And he became the beach ball guy. Beach ball guy. Which, first, <laughs> first problem, it, I don't understand 
why like these people need to know why they're coming here they're acting like it's a concert like they're cheering people don't even do that at stand-up comedy they know they can read the room they know why they're there they're there to listen to this person speak so why are you constantly cheering over the person who's supposed to be talking to like you came here to listen to him why would you go there and scream and shout and cheer and throw beach balls at him? People don't do that at TED Talks. They don't do it at stand-up comedy. If it's a person that's specifically there to speak about something, you're not going to be cheering. You're just not. That's not. That's stupid. That's not realistic. If they're that young and they're acting like that, they just wouldn't go because they don't want to hear it. Like you're, you're, they might be spending money. I don't know. Maybe they're spending money to go listen to this guy talk for however long, and they show up to what, yell for like 30 minutes and throw a beach ball down. So that already doesn't make sense to me. That wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Unless he was doing something crazy. Like, from what I can, from what it looks like, he's just doing the same thing every time. Like, it's that kind of thing. He's a traveling act. He's a traveling youth pastor. He does that, which is weird. <laughs> His agent or whatever is, co uh, is clearly, he's a great agent. He's a great agent, just not for what this guy wants to do and for the message he wants to spread and blah, blah, blah. This problem shouldn't exist. I cannot emphasize enough that this problem just shouldn't. It's not a problem because it would never happen. But basically, I think the message or the lesson in the movie is that, um, Basically, through these people are too theatrical. They're trying to make it, they're trying to spread the message in such a way that it is taking away from the message. It's basically luring people in t to give them a show instead of sharing their message and the gospel. And that's, that's fine. That's, that's a cool message. Like, don't, like, it's not about the show and it's not about, like, how theatrical or it's not about putting on a show it's about sharing god's word like that's the point it's not a show it's not there it's not it's not a concert <laughs> that that's kind of what the, i guess that's what the movie was trying to portray and people make other things idols and they kind of show that in the movie but it's still so stupid i'm so angry <laughs> let me know if i'm talking too fast so as the movie's going, it feels it's starting to feel more like there's not actually a problem and this story the, the story is going nowhere. So you need to throw in something, something very obvious. Something something that will make this movie keep going and something that will give it a reason to like keep the, they need to have a reason to keep filming. It there's no I have no, I had no idea where it was going and I was getting so A, there was a cocoon of disappointment just forming around me. And I, I think almost like not even 15 minutes into the movie, I wanted so badly to just message Melissa and just scream. <laughs> and she did it first. <laughs> she, she did it a little later into the movie. But like I said, they started after I did. So I was probably already like a half an hour into the movie by the time she texted me. And she said, <laughs> what did she say? And she said something like, if I had a shot for every time there was bad acting in this movie, I would be smashed. And I was like, yes, same. No, if I had to take a sip, like every now and then, there would be well-delivered lines. It would be nice. It would be casual. It would be not like, I don't know, not like you're reading a child's storybook or like someone, I don't know. It was awful. The main character's acting. I'm gonna cry. His act, I don't even know. It's like he wasn't acting. He was just, I mean, he ha he kind of had the mannerisms of what, what I would imagine a youth pastor to have in my experience of knowing people. Like he would gesture in certain ways, he had it. And like the way he talked when he was actually preaching, which happened very rarely, by the way. A movie about this and a Christian movie, there was hardly any preaching, hardly anything. But when he did do it, he had the mannerisms, and he spoke like, yes. And he emphasized things, like, yeah, I've, I've heard people do this. Like, that's kind of, you got that down. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this guy actually does have experience with maybe public speaking, but not acting. 
and the other actors, they weren't really any better. I mean, maybe for the character... No, I can't. Mm -hmm. I would say they individually played their own roles well. It was just the acting was not great, and it was cringy. It was... It wasn't even just that it was cheesy. It wasn't that the lines that were being said and the situations were cheesy. It was that they were actually doing it poorly. Like, they're executing lines poorly. And this one guy, I forget his name, but he would sing all the time. And it, that was bad. Which, his character was just straight up cheesy. It was kind of painful. But also, he's just so... He seems like always cheerful. Um... But uh, deep down, it's not that deep down because it's kind of obvious. He's jealous of the main character. It, but he's like, like happy and he always talks like he's talking to like, he's the perfect one. I was given this gift by God to sing so I should sing and bless people with my voice and stuff. But his voice isn't high, I don't know why I'm talking like that. But that's how he comes off. And he talks to you like, not, not like those characters that are stuck up, like clearly come off as a stuck up person. He doesn't come off as much as that. He's just very stupid. He just acts kind of stupid and like a child almost. I think it's intentional. It just is kind of, it's kind of hard to watch a, a grown man act like this. And I, it, it is a comedy. <laughs> Maybe I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> this movie is supposed to be a comedy. It was, it was sad. It was a tragedy. <laughs> it came off as like a low budget put together film by like a small crew you know when you just see that maybe don't but you know when you just see those uh christian films online that they put in like contests or something they usually have small crews and it's usually like the point is the message so it makes sense if they're not going to if it's not going to be perfect but it it seems like that it seemed like a low budget christian film made by young people but it was, it, I don't think it was that low budget. It was, uh, I mean, maybe it was. But I feel like it would have been better if they just didn't make it. <laughs> they would have been putting more out there in the world if they hadn't made this film and let other people watch it. And the thing that I was talking about before, the thing that they needed to like keep the film going and to actually give it a story and to build up story and to make it mean something, um, what they did is this idiot pastor who acts like an idiot um, he decides, in order to bring more people in to watch it, like a show, to bring more people in, he, keep, he keeps assuring him that, oh, it's to share the gospel, I'll just start, share the gospel a little bit, but they're coming for the show. To bring people in, we will have a crucifixion. You don't know what a crucifixion is. Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> crucifixion. When you have a cross. You got a cross? Plank wood. It's like a T. Lowercase T. And you nail people to it. You drive giant nails through their palms and through their feet and you nail them on the cross like that, their feet down, their hands like that, and you leave them there. They hang there until they die. That is crucifixion. People did this in the past. They did it as like a sentence. It would be sentenced to crucifixion if you did terrible things, basically. It was a motive of sentencing. And this guy suggests we should have a crucifixion. It'll be totally safe. And, like, it's comedy. It is the next day, and I have my little brother here. So the dude has a doctor there. And it, it, I was talking to the girls about this specific scene. This could have been funny. Like, they could have used the doctor, and it could have been funny. It could have actually been funny. So the pastor tells this main guy, guy about uh, his idea. And he pauses. Guy pauses. He... he He's like over there, there, he's at the end of the table, so it's like the other guy and his doctor is at the end of the table, and then guy is like on the other side. And he stands up, and then this music. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put it over this. But this music starts to play. While he's, while guy goes over to a pitcher of water, he takes a long drink, he pours himself a cup. We watch this entire process. We watch him pour himself a cup of water, drink the entire thing, he walks back over, and he poorly executes the line. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how to say this, but uh, you are insane. And when I was talking to the girls, that alone could have been funny, but it wasn't. He could have just, after all of that, after doing all that, it would have been funny if he just went, what? Look, that would have been enough. That, that, but it's like the, 
the comedic timing, the comedic setup was all lost on this movie. jokes and the ideas that they set up for jokes they weren't they weren't terrible but the way they did it it just didn't come out good at all so after that i don't even remember what happened after that that movie had no it did not it didn't flow it was just all over the place and there was plot plot twists at some point during the movie i don't even think there wasn't even any lead up to this a chick just walks into the guy's office and she's like, um, I'm your daughter. <laughs> I'm your daughter and I'm mad at you for some reason because I'm, um, um, I don't even know. I think she was mad because she thought that he left her with her mother. He thought that she was put up for adoption, but her mother ended up keeping her. And this girl, I don't know how old she is. She's like a young adult. There's nothing. I don't care. And it's just so poorly done. And she's upset because he's acting, because he's being nice to her. Uh, what do you want? And it's like she was acting as if she had just watched a movie with that plot, where a daughter comes into this guy's life and ruins it, and she's uh, she has a little outburst, and she's talking about, like, why aren't you upset? Am I not ruining your life right now? And, and I'm just sitting there watching, like, what? What is happening? <laughs> I'm trying to go through the movie in my mind, because I'm trying to go in order and talk about how badly each, the next scene is. But I don't even remember what happens after that. It's so non-consistent. There was one point where um, the main chick, love interest, whatever, was talking to a guy. Not guy, but she was talking to another guy. <laughs> um, they were talking in the parking lot or something, and that they were at an angle where it was like a close-up, kind of, instead of looking at both of them, it was close-up on her. And it looked like she was about to start a sentence. Like, they had been filming her, and it looked like she was about to start a sentence, but then it cuts to a further away shot. And th with that comes a kind of too long pause until the other person starts talking. <laughs> and well, Melissa wants to talk to me. Hopefully not about the movie. And during transitions, in between transitions, in between scenes, they would play songs, like modernized versions of actual song like it sounds like sunday school or like bible school songs i don't i can't even cover all the terrible things about this movie and i can't even fully explain you'd have to go watch it but i'm not going to tell you the name of it so good luck finding it i mean with the information i've given I, I don't i don't doubt it's not a terrible idea and it doesn't have a terrible message but it's not good it's just, it's not well done it wasn't it wasn't funny when it was trying to be it was kind of funny when it wasn't trying to be, but my the best thing about the movie, in my personal opinion, is one of the characters whose name was Blaze. She's one of the youths in the that the youth pastor mentored. Or I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what this guy does. He just acts like a bum. He doesn't do anything. He's a youth pastor bum. I don't. But Blaze was the funniest thing. And at some point, he was the one that was supposed to get crucified. Apparently, at some point, for some reason, I guess. And um, Guy and his lady friend go to Blaze's parents to talk to them and about what's happening because they don't want Blaze to get crucified. So, so he tries to, so they try to talk to his parents about it. And so they're waiting at 
the door, like with Blaze. Blaze is there with them. Um, guy rings the doorbell, and Blaze is just standing there. They were talking, and then Blaze just goes, wait, I live here. <laughs> he just walks right in, and I thought that was the funniest part of the entire movie. And at, at the end of the movie, there's this guy who you assume throughout the entire thing is an angel. His name is Chad. Um, I assumed he was an angel right off the bat because he was kind of weird and he knew pretty he knew everything about people when he met them uh, when he first Someone would walk in the building. I don't even know what he does I don't know if he's a janitor or if he's a doorman, but he always has a bow tie and he has a suit But if a new person came into the building, he would say their full name like hello so-and-so and so And they'd be freaked out like what do I know you? So I assumed he was an angel or something and they kind of made a joke about that which was also so cringe could have been it could have been way worse than it was but um they kind of saved it not really it's like if someone's drowning you throw a lifesaver at them and it hits them in the head and then you try to save them by throwing another person in who can't swim to get them and it, it's just a mess it's not working out um but at the end at the very end of the movie um that guy the angel dude chad he went to the center of the stage um, at some point, I don't even know how, he had, a, he had a volleyball because the other dude was a volleyball man. And so he had a volleyball, a net, um, that was overhead that had been there previously. It was full of volleyballs. It broke, and he just went, oh dear. And all the volleyballs came down and just bonged him on the head. And he looks directly into the camera, and he said, who says Christians can't be funny? Or something like that. <sighs> what even did he say? Oh, I'm upset. I can't. I don't want to go find it. And I felt offended, personally offended. While I was talking to the girls, I even said, yeah, who says they can't be funny? This movie, if anything, will prove that they can't be funny. But I was, I was offended because I'm, I'm what some may classify as humorous. If you're not laughing with me, you're laughing at me. And that is either way a win in my opinion. And it is <coughs> effortless to say the least. <laughs> that could have been a good ending to a good movie. I feel like any time they tried to do something good, it was already being supported by something terrible. Like the foundation to all of it was bad to begin with, so anything you build on top of that isn't going to be good. Apparently, <laughs> as this is proven. Well, actually, they didn't have a good foundation, they didn't have good structure, they didn't hold the, there was nothing holding the movie together. There was no, basically no plot or no lead up to what they were trying to make the plot. And there was a, there was a message. I feel like if anything, that's what they were going off of. The fact that they had a message. They had nothing else. So walking away from it, I have three more gray hairs. Probably the, the only good thing. Good thing about the movie pretty much kind of is the message. They ended like the message by people nailing their idols, I guess, to a cross, which I thought was weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's blasphemous. I can't tell how I feel about that because, I don't know. I'm trying to find what it symbolizes, if it can symbolize something bad, but I don't know. If you find something, tell me. I just know that I don't really like it, but I don't really know why. But the message, I guess, you can walk away from the movie knowing that the message was the point is God. Keep your eyes on God. It's not about the performance. It's not about all the craziness. It is about the gospel. That is that is it. That's what you're trying to make. Like, that's what church is about. That's what you preach about. You preach about the gospel. You're not there to see a show. You're not there to... It's not a concert. <laughs> it's not a concert. You're not there to get people to sign beach balls. It is just about the preaching of the gospel that's that's it that that is the message that they poorly executed in this movie which i i like i like that message and they they did that i would say they did that kind of well in making everything else absolutely ridiculous they did a good job in making all the theatrics ridiculous and clearly pointing out that they have just trailed away from the point like I said, I'm not gonna say the name of the movie. Not just because I don't wanna promote it in any way, but because uh, Melanie made a point 
or uh, just like they tried <laughs> and I'm just bashing the movie but as I guess uh, to some point I'll respect the creative the creators by not I don't know just I'm not even gonna tell you not to watch it maybe you can watch it and decide for yourself but it's just don't just don't watch the movie yeah <laughs> No, not last night. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> One of the nights I was there. Just say your mom and be done with it. <laughs>